Forgive all of the mess in the background. We are moving in a few days, and that's why the channel hasn't been very active lately. However, today I just picked up a new product called BeLive.TV. This is a StreamYard alternative. Now, I had StreamYard for about two or three months back at the start of the uh, events last year. You know what I'm talking about. And we just got monetized, so I'm going to be careful with what I say regarding that. But nevertheless, StreamYard has a monthly recurring expense. And I did it for my small business stuff. And in general, it, I found it to be a bit more expensive than I wanted to pay. Maybe I'm just cheap, but when I saw Be Live in the App Sumo store, it looks like they've made improvements from the first time around. I said, this is the time, and let's go ahead and pick this up and see what it can do, especially compared to StreamYard. So I'm going to jump into the Be Live studio, and I'm going to show you uh, kind of what you can expect if you pick up this tool. And there will be a link in the description to support the channel. It says hi there to start with connect your camera. You can go ahead and click connect camera and it's going to suggest or ask permission. I've already granted it permission. So now we see my camera down here. If I want to show this in the stream, I can do that just like that. And now I'm a part of the actual stream. Let me go ahead and hide it. But before I do, I'll show you that you can go to solo off for solo on. If you wanted to target, you know, maybe you're interviewing one or two people, you can do that there. And let's go ahead and hide this. So let's come up here and let's set our destination. Now we're gonna be able to stream to YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, or offline recordings. I'm gonna go ahead and select offline recording for now. However, I do want to do an actual live stream on the channel. Maybe I'll start live streaming some of my thoughts or my videos. Uh, Q and A's, et cetera. But I'm gonna do a live stream in the next day or so to test this tool out. So be on the lookout for that and to just share my experiences with growing the channel AI profits to zero demonetization in under seven months. We are now fully monetized. I know they started putting ads on the videos like a month or two back. My apologies, I can't control that. Uh, YouTube's decided just to put ads on everything, but now at least I'm gonna get a portion of that revenue. So let's select this offline recording. Now let's move to the camera. We've already set our camera right here. We can show it in the screen so that you can see me. Hopefully this isn't too many versions of me. And then we have the guest here for your guests. It's simple, you just copy the link, you send it to a guest, and then they are invited, they can come on, and you're off to the races. Now for the screens, we can share the screen. So if I wanted to show you something on my other screen or show you the current screen, I can do that quite easily. And then down here, we're also gonna get media where we can upload media, we can go to Facebook and we're seeing some of these upgrade features. That's because on the deal page, I haven't actually activated. I'm picking up the multiple here. Upgrading your code is as easy as coming on to the settings page and simply pasting in your code and then it redeems and you should be good to go. So there we go. We have tier three now. Remove the BeLive logos and all of that so that it's essentially ours. That's the main reason that I'm doing it. I think multi-camera would be cool in the future. However, I mainly just want to remove you know, all of the graphics from BeLive. I just want it to be AI profits only. So if we refresh, then we should now be able to come in and upload our own media, YouTube, Facebook, etc. Now, live sales, this is something that I guess is not a part of the AppSumo deal. I don't know exactly. I guess this is for e-commerce. You can promote, you know, probably connecting it up with the shopping cart. Something I'm not going to be doing, at least not, you know, in the near future. We do have widgets. Uh, these are pretty cool. We can do things like snowfall. We can do a countdown up here at the top. We can do sticky notes. You know, if you want to put a note, we can do days. We can do a thermometer. So I'm, that's kind of cool that they had these widgets. I don't know if I like the uh, bottom two, you know, I want to talk as little bit about that as possible. However, the sticky notes and the countdown and all that is pretty cool. And then the snowfall, it's a gimmicky effect. Now, the on-screen agenda is something that I thought was very cool. So you have a different agendas here, and this is text on the screen. So we can do an interview or a Q&A. Like I said, I want to do the Q&A uh, kind of live. I don't know if anyone will show up, but I'm just going to share my thoughts and experiences with AI profits. Welcome to AI profits. I guess let's call it profit and then thank people 
who are joining and tell them that you're an expert in answering their questions. So guys, I am an expert at answering your questions on how to get to a thousand subscribers on YouTube because I just did it. That's the extent of that. Uh, you establish some credibility and then you say, what are you watching from? Use this, you know, as a question to engage the audience my mistakes, share a relevant story, showcases a lesson you learned, makes you more relatable. Then you to share a success story. You know, it, this is, is this like classic webinar internet marketing? I used to sleep on my couch in a trailer park and now, <laughs> I, I digress, ask me anything. Then you get to the Q&A, the best practices, and always, always, always engage the audience. Like, share, subscribe. You know, leave a comment down below what your thoughts are, those kinds of things. The Q&A template, if you struggle, you know, to get through a show, this outlines it for you. And if we look back here, we can create a new list and we could call this Profit Sessions. And then we could create this and we can create our own. And of course, here we're going to have titles. So let's go with Profit Sessions. And then we're going to update. We're going to add an item and this is going to be a crawler. And we're going to say, don't forget. And then we'll click update. Now I'll we'll show this and you see the crawler at the bottom of the screen. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I can also show the title here and we'll go ahead and we'll throw the email up just like that. And this is why you pick up a tool like this. It's so much better than just native live streaming and things of that nature. Because once you learn the studio, You'll be able to come in here and you kind of know how to do this stuff. And you can be a one man show with doing live streams. Now, branding, this is something that you can come in. You can add your logo. We're going to go ahead and add the AI profits logo. We'll select that and click apply. And our logo is now up here in the top corner of the screen. Next up, we have for branding the theme. So we can do a classic theme. We could do a well, it looks like some of these themes are coming soon. So you kind of just get one or the other. I think I like the classic, maybe. I don't know. We'll go with this one. It doesn't really matter. And then, of course, before we get out of here, you do have the backgrounds. So this is the background of the screen. You can come in here and you can add more custom elements. You can do overlays as well if you want to overlay. Over here, we have a hosted chat. Now, the chat is where you can engage with your communities. And again, we're streaming to either offline recording, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn's, or even the custom RTMP. Now that I've upgraded my account, this allows you to stream. I don't really know how to do this. I'd have to really look it up and all of that. But I believe you can then stream to more places, uh, specifically probably your website or some other streaming service or whatever. So before we get out of here, they do have a trim they broadcast live and you're going to be able to come in here and edit very briefly how to do this type of stuff. I'll make a separate video on that in the future. I think that's pretty much the extent of the editor. Now up here, I've got to point this out. This is going to pretty much destroy this tool for a lot of people and that's the full HD. Now if I turn this on, I have to upgrade to pro and if I click to upgrade to pro, um, Right now, I'm not paying $37.50 a month for the Pro. I think that this right here is kind of ridiculous, to be honest. So if we come in here to StreamYard and we go to their pricing, StreamYard's coming in, you know, far more professional. Now note that StreamYard is capping your recordings per month, your multi-streams, things like that. StreamYard's a far more developed tool, in my opinion, just off of first impressions with BeLive. StreamYard is the industry standard. Again, as far as I'm concerned, that's my opinion. And for $39 a month, if I'm paying anywhere in this range for BeLive's pricing, $45 a month, I'm going with StreamYard's professional plan. Uh, it's just as simple as that. Now, for the actual, you know, what it is, uh, we need, you know, the AppSumo deal, full HD and live shopping. Joe Sumoling goes back and forth a little bit. He says that the support is fantastic, you know, promising roadmap, all those things. But the HD, he's implying that it is $10 per month to get that 1080 recording. And then even worse, down here he says that the screen share is already in standard def and the 
HD add-on only works for webcam, and the webcam quality is good, but the screen share quality is not so great. Now, I'm thinking personally uh, that for live streaming this, at least for like demos or tutorials, Screencast-O-Matic, which is what I currently use, that's still the best because you can annotate things, you can do the zooms, all that fancy stuff. Um, this is more for interviews or Q and A's, things of that nature. So I don't care about the screen sharing as much, but I am a little bit concerned about this 720, even though probably most people are watching this from their cell phones. Uh, that's why I picked up this deal. But if I had to pay $10 a month, you know, for the HD, then maybe I would. I'm not exactly sure. I really think that that should be a part of the deal. Even if you got to stack another code or do whatever you got to do, another tier, I don't know. I digress. Uh, if you're paying right here, you know, for some of these plans, then I think StreamYard's much better. It makes you wonder how BeLive can be sustainable. With the lifetime deal, I think it is a great offer. However, you do have to be aware of that HD limitation. Hopefully, they change that. Um, right here, I'm not exactly sure. We're gonna have to actually dig in, do a live stream, see how this tool is. You get 60 days to refund it if you don't like it, and that's what I'll leave you with. My name is Scott with AIProfits.com. Hit the like button if this video brought you any value. Subscribe if you wanna see more content like it, and we'll see you in the next one.